So cranky when he doesn't get enough sleep. Oh, jeez! It's a stinktosaurus time for the. <gasps> I am Grutak, Emperor of Lodar. Take me to your leader. Ooh, that's good. Hax, write it down. Write it down. But Silapa Brockbar said exactly the same thing in Vampires from Venus. Do we have to keep watching these dumb movies? Hacks, by watching them, I've made a vital discovery. That the plots are all the same? No, that the hairless mammals are terrified of aliens. I'm going to use that fear to subjugate the mammals and take over the planet. I got it. I finally got into the Roswell computer. Here are the specs on that UFO you wanted. Oh, very good, Spitter. Look at this. Warp drives, transport chambers, and the communication system has holographic circuitry. Excellent. I think it's time we paid a little visit to Roswell. Raptor sighting. Ugh, don't tell them to come back later. They're 30 miles east of Roswell. Let's carnivate them. This air vent is right over the hangar where that UFO is stored. Stealing UFOs, huh? Send them back to the Ice Age. <laughs> How about the Stone Age instead? <laughs> Can't we settle this peacefully? Peacefully? Never heard of the word. If that's the way you feel. <laughs> You overgrown canary? Sure thing. So who's gonna say give? Me! Give it to him, Spitter! They're gone! We've got company. So, the talking dinosaurs are back. This time, they've come to stay. It's Scarwell. Let's fuck! Prepare to launch the nets! Get to it, Spitter! We don't have much time! Release the nets, now! Two can play at this. Boom! <gasps> What's happening? They can't be that strong. Cut us loose! Call off the troops! I tried every frequency. I can't find the raptors anywhere. 
they'll turn up. Yeah, and we're gonna be there when they do. Yeah, but where's that gonna be? That's what I want to know. Invasion timetable right on schedule. We're taking over the whole planet with one measly spaceship? One? Spitter, initiate stage two of the invasion plan. Okay, I'm uplink to every communication satellite orbiting the planet. Begin the holographic transmission. Done. Voila! Instant invasion force. But they're just holograms. But they're so advanced that the hairless mammal's radar can't even tell them from the real thing. <laughs> Now to make my demands. More UFOs have appeared over Cairo, Copenhagen, and Berlin, Mr. President. That's every major city in the world. Have the aliens made contact yet? I am Grutak, Emperor of Lodar. Take me to your leader. My invasion force is all powerful. You cannot defeat us. These are my demands. Nihor Hibitz Genek Blorf. Uh, that was Lodarian form. You will hand over the following tropical islands. Hawaii, Barbados, Borneo, Cozumel, and the Fiji Islands. If you refuse to submit to our demands, we, the Lodarians... This crummy movie again? ...will be forced to annihilate your planet. The choice is yours. Weird. It's on every station. That's the ship Bad Rap stole. He's trying to take over the world. But I don't understand. Bad Rap stole one UFO. Now there's hundreds all over the world. Hmm, maybe not. They could be some sort of extremely advanced holograms originating from Bad Rap's ship and beamed down via communication satellites. If I'm right, we take out Bad Rap's ship and the rest will vanish. Take out the UFO? How? With grappling hooks? Hey, check this. Emperor Grutek, I will read to you the United Nations Joint Resolution. We, the nations of the world, refuse to bow to your demands and must warn you that any act of aggression will be met with equal force. They're not supposed to say no! They're supposed to be terrified of me! Maybe it was the cheap alien mask. They will pay for this. We have to choose an appropriate target, something they cherish. Since you refuse to heed my warning, I am forced to demonstrate the sincerity of my intentions by destroying one of your cherished monuments. Boo! It's history. Dinosaurs, let's get extreme. No! This thing isn't exactly accurate. Get out of the way, you hopeless trilobite. Kiss your stupid statue goodbye. If it isn't the Snoopasaurians sticking their noses where they don't belong, and now topping the endangered species list. Uh oh, we gotta stop that thing. The Smithsonian. There'll be something in there we can use. Perfect. Just where we want it to be. Those Saurian losers think they can hide from me. <laughs> An early space satellite. Time to put it back into use. Reflect on this, bad rap. Huh? Nice try, T-Bonehead. Aim for the blaster ports. If we're lucky, we can destroy the pulse beam's power source. Nice shot! Work! Kuteya, Lenglador, Boxma. 
Not a bugash. Ay, Kadish. The language translators are now activated, leader. They have shot down an Antirian cruiser. Do we retaliate now? In due time. Deactivate the cloaking device. Whoa! We saved the world from an alien invasion! Just like in the movies. Uh, guys, I don't think this movie's over yet. Check it out! <laughs> now what do we do? Hey, we spiked it to bad rap. We'll do the same with these guys. Whoa, big guy. Need to figure out a strategy first. What a stupid idea. No alien would be dumb enough to invade this ice ball plane. Silence, Hacks! Unless you care to be as scaleless as you are witless. <laughs> you are not Antarians. Where are the missing cruiser pilots? We picked up their signal when their ship was activated and have come to rescue them. Tell us what you did with them, or we will be forced to do bodily harm. Uh, wait! You don't want to do that, <laughs> uh, because uh, we are the missing Antarians. Uh, yes, ruthless Earthlings captured us after we crashed. They experimented on us and turned us into hideous humans. What? Oh, uh, 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 right, yeah, yeah, right. We were escaping in our ship when the hostile humans disabled it. If you are in Terrigan, then speak to us in your native tongue. Uh, um, oh, um. That is not Antarian. We can't remember our language. The humans removed all memories of our former lives. This is an outrage! We must avenge these brutal acts! I will take you to the human leaders who did this to us. If the aliens attack, the humans won't stand a chance. Maybe they're just super friendly dudes, here to say a big intergalactic howdy. Nice thought, Birdman. You will surrender to us now! You are our prisoners! I'll handle this. <clears throat> we greet you in peace! <laughs> it worked in Earth versus flying saucers! By what galactic directive do you violate Earth's space boundaries? You shot down an Antarian spaceship, a flagrant violation of Section 2242D of the Extraterrestrial Peace Accord. I can understand their viewpoint. Rules are rules. Hey, whose side are you on anyway? And you engaged in fiendish experiments that turned our own kind into hideous humans. They're not humans. I'll show you humans. Oh, they're around here someplace. They're lying, Commander. They're the ones who did this horrible thing to us. You're gonna believe these vacuum brains over us? Apprehend them! Scatter! Hey, what about us? <laughs> you were once great Antarians, but now your puny life forms, you will only get in the way! Puny? Hey, no, wait! Relax, Hacks. I have a feeling this is going to be one great show! These guys really pack a wallop. How are we gonna beat them? Huh? huh? Chedra? Chedra! Release me this chromosecond! You are in violation of code 605 of the Quadranian Rules of Conflict Resolution. Okay, we'll do this the hard way. I warned you.
Now we can go. It appears the aliens have the edge in several categories. Height, weight, number of dangerous appendages. We're better looking. Yeah. We need a new game plan. I suggest a diversion. Hmm. Zarian Star! Okay, so it's agreed. Hard Rock, Bullseye, and Chedra go with me and break into the White House's emergency underground bunker. Spike and I'll meet you there once we've recovered the communications equipment from the downed UFO. Yeah, but what exactly are we supposed to do? Let's move. Them are heading toward the river! So, once we wipe out this hostile planet, how about keeping a few tropical islands? <laughs> you know, the spoils of war. Pretty busy up there. We'll take the subterranean route. It's very simple, Spike. If you interface this device with a bipolar circuit, you get a three-dimensional electronic helix. Clear as swamp mud. We've got company. Heavy duty steel. Piece of cake. So, go to it, Stakes. I want to see what you're up to. Don't move one scale. Huh? Becky, we're just about to save the world. You can watch if you like. It all makes sense now. You're not talking dinosaurs, you're aliens. A scouting party for an invasion force. Aliens? Do we look like aliens? There's some aliens. Pull them off, T. We need time to set this up. Do our best. Come on, I can take you out with half my brain tied behind my back. Hey! Whoa! Ugh. This is all part of the plan, right? I see islands in our future, sizzling hot tropical islands. Hurry, Stiggs. It looks rough up there. Battle's just beginning, calamari heads. <laughs> Hurry, Stiggs. Activating system now. <laughs> Farewell, Jumposauruses. I've waited 65 million years for this glorious moment. What was that? I just hope it's on our side. Back to the ship! Retreat! Do not fear. We will use our superior technology to make you handsome again. Just like us. <laughs> Twenty-foot holosaurs! Smooth move, Stiggs. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Refresh my memory. What's the temperature like on our planet? 2,000 degrees below zero in the summertime. Actually, there was no real threat once we made it clear we were prepared to fight back. What? Guess we'll never get any reward for saving humankind. Not true. I think we all deserve a big, triple spicy reward. Way to go!